Finally tonight, it's one of the most revealing side effects as patients go through chemotherapy, dealing with hair loss while battling cancer. Here's ABC's John Donvan with the new breakthrough giving cancer patients a fighting edge. It's a nice picture of us. This mom remembers what it was you like for her kids the, the first time she got breast cancer, and they saw her looking like this. She said, Mom, it was very scary for me to see you bald. Her daughter, Rebecca, was only eight back then. I wanted my project to make a difference. Well, the credit may be owed in part to Rebecca, now 13, who learned about and encouraged her mom to try this. It is called a cold cap. During chemo treatment, Marjorie bundled up in blankets while the device sat on her head. Like you pulled your hat out of the snow and put it right on your head. Here's what some scientists think might be going on. By constricting the blood vessels, the dose of cold basically puts the hair follicles to sleep so they're not susceptible to the chemotherapy. Even Marjorie's doctor had to wonder. I was skeptical, to tell you the truth. But now she's one of those working to get the FDA to approve the cold cap, which at this point costs thousands of dollars. While Rebecca, that project she mentioned, it's to raise funds for cancer patients who cannot pay that price. Not many women can afford it, but it's really nice. It's really useful. My son turned to me and he said, you know, um, I forget that you have cancer because you have hair. And that's great. True, it is not a cure, but this family feels it has made a big difference. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington. We thank John for that story, and we thank you for watching GMA First Thing in the Morning, and David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night.